Hey guys, I can't believe that it's already November. This year has just completely flown by. I think that this past year is like the quickest year of my life. I feel like it was just Thanksgiving and I can't believe that Thanksgiving is in like 20 days. So I thought that I would do my first ever uh, monthly favorites video. So this is going to be my October favorites. And I just love watching these videos and so I'm super excited that I'm finally doing one myself and I will do one uh, for each month here going out unless that there's a month that I don't really have any new favorites that are different from the month before. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. So this product is like the reason why I was super excited to shoot my uh, October favorites because I bought this hairspray. It's the uh, Big and Sexy Hair Get Layered Hairspray. And what do they call it? It's called a Flash Dry Thickening Hairspray. Um, so it's not like your typical hairspray. And I saw this inside of Ulta and it had a picture of Marilyn Monroe with her like super fun and flirty uh, short hairdo and it was like very texturized and curly and it said get layered and so I thought hmm that's like exactly what I want my hair to look like when I cut it so I thought that I would try this out so I just discovered this um, this past month and I have used it every single day this month I just absolutely love it it's like life-changing it's kind of hard to describe what it does though um, it's kind of like a hairspray mixed with like a dry shampoo mixed with like something else that makes your hair awesome and yesterday was a good example I had just blow dried my hair I didn't straighten it afterwards I didn't curl it and my hair was like sticking to my head and it was super lifeless and then I had to get running somewhere and I didn't have time to like do a blowout or curl my hair or do something more funky with it but I didn't want to walk out of the house with the way it was looking because it was just so flat and lifeless and so I just sprayed some of this stuff in my hair and it was like a night and day difference and I walked out of the bedroom and my husband complimented me on my hair and I got compliments that evening from friends on my hair and if they had just seen what my hair looked like before I put this in it. It's like just awesome sauce. So another product that I discovered this month is the Aussie Awesome Volume Hairspray um, and it is in the Maximum Hold. And the hairspray that I normally use is the Big Sexy Hair uh, the same brand as the Get Layered Spray and it is my all-time favorite hairspray. I used to think that my hair couldn't hold a curl or anything like that and then I used that hairspray and I've never been without it since except for this past month because <laughs> it is kind of expensive. It's like $17 and we just had a lot going on this month with moving and buying new furniture and stuff like that so I've kind of felt guilty going and picking up a new bottle and I was at a friend's house and I forgot my hairspray and I needed to hurry up and pick up some because I couldn't live without hairspray and she didn't have any <laughs> and uh, so I picked up this stuff just because it was the quickest thing to pick up but I really really love this hairspray I think for me it's like the drugstore version of the big sexy hair which they do sell the big sexy hair in Target I know that they sell it in Target um, and Ulta. I don't know what other stores carry it, but it's 17 bucks and I think this is like five bucks. So this is kind of like my inexpensive version of the Big Sexy Hair hairspray that I love so much. It doesn't work exactly like it. Like I think that the Big Hex... I think that the Big Sexy hairspray is like a 10 for me and this is like a 9. So uh, it's not quite there, but it's like the best you're gonna get and the price difference is amazing. I have the Burt's Bees Intense Hydration Eye Cream and this has been a long time favorite of mine. It's super moisturizing. I love the smell of it. It's very just like relaxing when I put it on and it has kind of like a cooling effect. Like I feel like it just kind of like calms down my skin as I put it on. So I discovered this about a year ago and I would mostly use it for travel. I just don't want to take an expensive eye cream with me when I'm just going somewhere for a couple of days and I especially don't want it to get lost or broken and so I usually keep this in my travel bag and I really love this stuff. It's kind of like if I could only buy a eye cream at a drugstore and not like a high-end eye cream but just like a normal like mid-range eye cream this is definitely my favorite eye cream uh, but this month I this is actually like completely empty 
<laughs> today I use the last little bit of it because this month I have been using it as my morning eye cream, my nighttime eye cream, I don't know what it is, but I feel like this month has just been super busy and so I've kind of just stuck to a couple things and I haven't really ventured out. And this stuff definitely works, it's very hydrating and soothing and it's just a great product and I've been using it like every single day this month. So this is another product that I discovered about a year ago. Um, I saw it in a magazine, and so I was super excited to try it. It's the Osha Cleansing Mud uh, Face Cleanser, and I think that you can also use it as a mask. It says, exfoliating daily cleanser for oily skin for normal or combination skin. Use weekly for deep pore cleansing. I don't think that this product is very, um, what do you call it, exfoliating? I don't know where they're getting that from. But I do love this product. I've been using it off and on throughout the year and I just absolutely love it. It really opens up your pores and I feel like it just opens up your pores and just rinses them out. So it's a very deep clean, but at the same time, I feel like it's very soothing to the skin. And I think a lot of face cleansers that deep clean the skin also leave it really dry. And I have oily skin, so if I use a drying, um, face cleanser then it'll just make my skin extra oily because now my skin is trying to overcompensate for being dry and so I end up with just oily dry skin and it's not pretty and so this stuff is really nice because I think it's a good deep cleanser for oily skin so this past month I have been using this every single day I just I fell in love with it but I would just use it every now and then I think because on the bottle it says use weekly so I thought maybe you can use it every day um, but I've been using this baby every day. It just really helps me to feel like my skin is like squeaky clean without being dry. So this month I have been using the Sephora's Golden Spice Blush. I just absolutely love this blush. It's one of my all time favorite blushes. And I think that throughout the seasons I like to change my lip colors and my blush colors and those are kind of like the only two real changes that I make to my makeup throughout the seasons. So during the summer I like to wear more pinks and corals and during the winter I like to go a little bit more warm and deep. And so this color is just absolutely perfect for fall. I think it should just be called Fall Blush. So I've pretty much only worn two lip colors this month and the first one is NYX's Butter Lip Gloss in the color Cherry Pie and the other one is Hourglass's Lipstick in Phage. And so the first one I've been wearing whenever I'm kind of just having like a lazy day and I don't have a lot of makeup on but I want to look like I put at least a little bit of effort into how I'm looking so I just pop this red lip gloss on and it kind of just like brightens up your look without having to try too hard and I also love it because you can really layer this color so you can just put one layer on and it's more of just like a subtle pink color or you can put two to three layers on and it's a really pretty red color. I feel like if Snow White were to wear a lip gloss, this would be it. And then the other one is the Hourglass Phage Lipstick and I just love this nude color. It's a very like brown nude and it works really well with my skin tone which is like really pale. <laughs> a lot of um, nude lipsticks don't really work well with my skin tone because they're either too brown or too orange. Um, I gravitate more towards the pink nudes and the brown nudes but like the more like nude nude browns not like the nude browns that are more brown. It's hard to find. It sounds easy but to find like the perfect nude lip color for your face complexion is not as easy as it sounds. So this one is just perfect and I've been wearing it on days that I have more of like a dramatic eye and I want to just have like a really subtle nude lip with it. So that is going to do it for this month's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and maybe you got a few ideas on some new products to try for yourself and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite products were this month so that I can check them out too. I hope that you're all doing great and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!